Hey Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you products that I like to buy high-end and products that I do not. So if that sounds good to you, you are definitely in the right place. So before we get started, the makeup that I'm wearing today is from my current makeup basket. The eyeshadow palette is the mini Stoned Vibes palette. This comes with an eyeliner and a primer potion. And that is what is on my eyes today, as well as magnetic lashes. And I do have a video, a demo, kind of tutorial, and a review kind of explaining the pros and cons of magnetic lashes, at least as far as my experience goes. And that is either already up or it will be going up really soon. So if it's not up, stay tuned for that. And if it is up, I will have it linked down below in the description box. Also too, if you're not subscribed, I would love to invite you to become what I like to call one of my dollar divas. So hit that subscribe button and also to hit that bell notification. That way you're always notified when videos like this go up. I do love to make videos about affordable beauty, the occasional high-end splurge, and I love making Dollar Tree oriented makeup videos. So if that sounds good to you, you'll definitely want to join me. If you want to hear products that I love to buy high-end, as well as products that I will not buy high-end, definitely keep on watching. So kind of some of the products that I used to buy high-end or not high-end, some of them have changed or flip-flopped, and I will tell you which ones those are, because some of them, there are things that I liked to buy high-end that I no longer buy high-end and vice versa. So I film in front of a window and I forget that like at this time of the year, the sun comes in. So if it was just a little washed out, please excuse that. I have shut my shades and I've got my studio lights going. So anyways, so, so where was I? Yeah, so anyways, yeah. So there are certain products that I used to love buying high-end that I no longer feel the need and vice versa. There are things that I never used to buy high-end that I like buying high-end now. So of course this is pretty much gonna be makeup. And I do have a couple bonus items that are not makeup related at the end. So anyways, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So the first item that I do enjoy to buy high-end, of course, is eyeshadow palettes. Let's just get it out of the way. I love to buy eyeshadow palettes that are high-end. Um, I will occasionally buy something like at the Dollar Tree if I want to try something out like either a trio or quad or or sometimes you find like a six or more pan palette or something like that. So I do love trying those things out and I have several of them that I do like. But I don't buy a ton of palettes at the drugstore. Now granted, I do have, I do enjoy like e.l.f. palettes and I've enjoyed some from Shop Miss A. And I've yet to try certain brands like ColourPop and Juvia's Place. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't yell at me, don't yell at me. But um... But yeah, I do love a high-end palette. Um, I haven't been able to really spend yet for like a Natasha Denona or anything like that, but I do love a good high-end palette and even a more drugstore price point, like $20 or something like that. So I, but I do, I am a sucker for a high-end eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? So, so that is something that I have really gotten accustomed to lately for sure. Something that I do not buy high-end, in fact I don't even buy these products at a drugstore most of the time, and of course I can never say never. I can't say that any of these won't change because some of them already have, but this is where I'm at right now. So an item that I do not buy high-end is eyebrow pencils and products. Actually one of my favorite, if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know a couple of my favorite eyebrow products are from the Dollar Tree from LA Colors. Um, they have a pomade or a, like a gel and then they have um, a pencil which I just love and Shop Miss A has a really great eyebrow pencil. So yeah, so for me, I can't foresee spending $20 or something like that on something that I'm just as happy spending a dollar or using like a brown eyeliner or something like that or even like a brown eyeshadow. So yeah, for me personally, I do not buy my eyebrow products high end. So another product that I don't mind to buy high end are duochrome and multi-chrome eyeshadows, be it liquid, powder, loose pigment, all that kind of thing. Like if I see an eyeshadow single and it's like an either an indie brand or a specialty makeup brand or high end or whatever and it's 20 or 30 dollars and I love it enough, 
I will buy it. I will buy it. I actually just bought some multi-chrome eyeshadow flakes from a company called Beauty Bar Baby. And they're a little pricey and they're kind of a special thing and I'll link that video down below so you can check it out if you're interested in multi-chromes and that kind of thing. And I've bought some, you know, Urban Decay duo chromes and some Stilla Glitter and Glow or Shimmer and Glow duo chromes. So I do not mind to spend for something special like that. Of course, because of course you don't really find that type of a thing at the drugstore or anything like that. So I am likely to buy something special like a duochrome or a multi-chrome high-end or from a specialty brand for sure. Definitely worth a splurge if you want it. So something that I used to buy high-end or I used to feel the need to maybe splurge and buy high-end is concealer and I no longer feel that way. So that is one that has changed for me over the years uh, mainly because I have found a Rimmel concealer that I like and even more recently from Shop Miss A, the Paw Paw I think it's called, it comes like in a little squeeze tube. That is like my current favorite concealer and it's like $1.55. So it used to be I felt to get a good concealer, something that doesn't show and all that stuff, it had to be high end. But I am finding that right now to not be the case for my preference anymore. So yeah, concealer, I feel there's a lot of good options at the drugstore. As well as foundation. Foundation is another one that has changed for me. It used to be I would really splurge on like Urban Decay or something like that because I just felt it was going to make my skin look better and honestly now I am in love my favorite foundation is from the Dollar General it's the Believe Beauty foundation and it is amazing it's like five bucks and it's just changed the way I look at foundation so foundation and concealer are things I used to feel I needed to splurge on and get something really high quality or high-end and I just don't feel that's the case anymore I feel like there's lots of good there's full coverage there's medium coverage there's luminous coverage at the drugstore and it's all just, I think, just a matter of preference as to which one you like, but I definitely think there's lots of options at the drugstore now, so I no longer feel the need to buy those high-end, either one of those. So something that I do kind of like high-end, although I do have a lot, I, pretty much, I think I only have like one high-end blush, I might have two, but um, I love, I am a sucker for NARS blushes. I love NARS blushes. Um, so I do love a high-end blush. Um, I'm actually wearing NARS Orgasm X now and it's just stunning. The quality, like a little bit, goes such a long way. It's never splotchy and it just looks amazing. So I definitely will splurge like on a NARS blush and all that good stuff. Now I do love a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree, so it's almost like in my collection, I either have like NARS or like LA Colors, you know? But yeah, I do love a good high-end blush every now and again, especially NARS. So, so that is somewhere where I will splurge if need be. But something that I really don't like to splurge on is lip products. So I just really love so many lip products from the Dollar Tree. A lot of them are from LA Colors. They have lip plumpers that are amazing. They have moisturizing lip glosses. They've got different kinds of matte lipsticks. They get all kinds of stuff. I also love the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. And again, just cheap, like $2.99 you can find them for like most of the time and sometimes even cheaper than that. They have a beautiful red shade and I've worn it through shows like all day where I've eaten and had drank from a water bottle and coffee and all that stuff and I just, they they last so good so I really don't splurge on lip products now you know does that mean that I might not buy like a lip plumper or something like that actually right now I'm wearing the Urban Decay Naked Heat lip plumper but I found it at TJ Maxx for like seven dollars I think I can't remember it was under ten dollars so you know it that, to me that's a little bit of a splurge but still like a really good deal for a high-end product but generally speaking I'm not gonna splurge on a lip product I'm gonna pretty much most of the time get all my lip glosses at the Dollar Tree for the most part so yeah lip products are something I don't really feel the need to splurge on and there's also a Revlon lipstick that I haven't worn in years but it's one of my all-time favorites actually I forget about it I used to wear it all the time I need to buy some but it's old-school Revlon lipstick in the shade fire and ice that's like an all-time like that's like an OG for me I need to, I need to pick some of that up but but yeah so really I don't feel the need to splurge on my lip products Another thing that I will splurge on, only because I don't see them very often, 
in the drugstore or at the Dollar Tree at all are glitter eyeliners. Now there used to be one from Hard Candy that I really enjoyed. I think it was the Walk the Line glitter liner. And then NYX has them as well. But I don't tend to like the NYX ones as much as I used to like the Hard Candy. So I think the last time I bought glitter liner, I bought the Urban Decay. And I've also bought Too Faced as well. So I, I wouldn't mind that if I wanted a glitter liner to just buy one high end and spend the 20 bucks or the 22 bucks. So I don't mind to buy glitter liquid eyeliner high end at all. So another couple products that I don't mind to buy at the Dollar Tree or at the drugstore are bronzer and highlighter. It used to be to find a matte bronzer, which is what I gravitate towards, which I think a lot of us gravitate towards. I couldn't really find them at the drugstore. And so it was like, I would have in the past bought one that was high end just to find one that was matte. Now able to find them at the drugstore price point as well as the Dollar Tree. So now matte bronzers are just a little easier to come by. So it is something I would have bought high end, but I don't feel the need to do so anymore. As well as highlighters. I think highlighters used to be kind of a specialty thing. I think I, we all started out buying like the Benefit High Beam and then powder highlighters kind of got to be really big. I think the first highlighter, honestly, if I'm thinking back to like high school, was it might have been, what was the, Corn Silk, I don't even know the brand, Airspun. They had a little shimmer powder and I was able to buy, it was like a loose powder, and I was able to like find it once and never found it again. And then my friend gave me a MAC one and I had that for years. It was like a loose MAC shimmer powder. And now you can find them everywhere. Yeah, I think it used to be a little bit more specialty, something that you can only find special. And now you can find them at the drugstore and the Dollar Tree. And literally like my favorite highlighters are from the Dollar Tree. I actually just did a video where I kind of compare if you're at the Dollar, it's like a buy this instead of that at the Dollar Tree. So if you have two products from the Dollar Tree, which one I would buy and why why I would buy it. And they just have some great highlighters at the Dollar Tree. So that is something I also don't feel the need to buy high end anymore. And also mascara and lashes are something that I do not buy high end. I've never actually bought a pair of high end eyelashes and I'm a little afraid to, but honestly, I don't feel the need. I buy the Ardell's frequently, the Ardell Wispy 113s, but kind of more and more, I really like the Ioni Foam Mink from the Dollar Tree. I just, I, I've, I've found exactly the right amount I need to trim them and they to me are, I'm actually like, I'm actually, I think starting to really like them even more than the Ardell's. I do have a big pack of Ardell Wispy 113s, but probably once I use those up, I may just be a complete Ioni Foam Mink girl. Lashes have come such a long way. I've heard amazing things about like Anastasia Beverly Hills lashes and high-end lashes. Like I said, I don't, I'm kind of, I'm a performer, so I wear a lot of eyelashes and performers kind of come from this background where we don't make a lot of money, so we don't generally spend a lot of money on stuff like that. So I'm still of the mindset that I don't want to spend a lot on a pair of lashes, and I'm just so glad because I don't feel like I need to anymore. Even three or four dollars, I don't feel like I need to spend, let alone anything more than that. Also, mascara, you know, most of the time I am wearing lashes, so I'll just put a little bit of mascara on under the lashes, and it might as well be from the Dollar Tree for that, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm wearing makeup and I'm not wearing false lashes, it's actually kind of rare. You Usually when I'm wearing makeup, I'm wearing false lashes. But on those odd occasions, there is a high-end product that I just adore, and it's the It Tightline Mascara Primer. And you can live, you can wear it under your mascara, or you can just wear it alone. And it makes my sad little lashes look just about as good as they can possibly look. So if I am wearing my own lashes, that is a product that I do would splurge on. But generally speaking, I can get away with just a cheaper mascara because I'm gonna be wearing lashes anyway. So for high-end things, I of course, kind of like multi-chromes and duochromes, if I see any item that is high-end that I have not seen at the drugstore or something like that, and I'm interested in it, I will buy it and I will spend whatever it costs because sometimes you do, you have these specialty items or shades that you've never seen or something that just, screams by me and you can't find me anywhere else. I mean, I will splurge on something like that. Or if like there's a highlighter that has a particularly, that is calling my name in particular, I might splurge. So any kind of a special item, you know, I'm not afraid to splurge on a special item of any kind, whatever it may be. I'm also a little bit more likely to splurge now on like good packaging. I never used to be able to appreciate good packaging and it, it kind of snuck up on me. Now granted, I don't, 
have to have the best packaging, but I do appreciate good packaging, whereas I never used to before. You know, a good eyeshadow palette has a good sturdy package, you know, versus something that's a little cheaper and same thing with like blushes and bronzers and that kind of thing and so I do appreciate good packaging and like I said I will not buy something for good packaging but when I do buy a high-end item I have come to appreciate the packaging and another thing I will buy sometimes high-end if I see a shade like a single eyeshadow like an Urban Decay single shadow or a Stilla Glitter and Glow that's like a liquid shadow or something like that I'm not afraid to splurge on a single color or something like that that I really want that I haven't seen anywhere else so a single shadow of any kind is something I don't also don't mind to buy high-end so again another product that I used to feel I had to buy high-end and don't feel that way anymore is eyeliner now I have the 24 7 glide on liner by Urban Decay and it's amazing I did an eyeliner test last year where I tested out like a Maybelline or two Maybelline a L'Oreal and a CoverGirl liner and they were all fabulous and then I recently gave the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in Black a try in my waterline and it performed amazing so I like I said I I think a good eyeliner is a good eyeliner and it, and it doesn't really matter the price point as long as it's a good eyeliner and so now I'm kind of all over the board with liner I realized last year that after my favorite L'Oreal eyeliner was discontinued I was thinking okay I might have to start buying something high-end and I was completely blown away that all of the eyeliners I tried from the drugstore were really good so yeah so like I said I'm not opposed to buying a really good eyeliner high-end because it is eyeliner is an imperative product and a good one is life-changing but I do think there's a lot available so I don't feel the need that I have to try to look at high-end options for eyeliner anymore also powder last year I kind of fell in love with a high-end banana powder because I'd gotten it through an ipsy it's the Bella Pierre if you've been on this channel you know I love the Bella Pierre and it's comparable to the Ben Nye and you know it's because it's a high-end and I really loved it and then I bought something from the drugstore I think it was a Joa brand and it's not my favorite I didn't like it and I was like I'm going back to my Bella Pierre well then I got some banana powder from Shop Miss A that is amazing so <laughs> likewise I have a Tarte Amazonian clay finishing powder that I do not like and I've got LA Colors setting powders and finishing powders that I love so I just think that's a matter of the product and you just have to try and see what you like and there's high-end ones that I like and don't like and there's drugstore and just downright cheap powders and things that I like and don't like so but I definitely don't feel the need that it has to be expensive so setting powder is something that I can definitely use either from the Dollar Tree or the drugstore price point point. and last but not least this is something that has really changed in my world as well I never used to splurge on high-end brushes and then I got a taste of my first this it brush right here I bought this a few years ago and I spent like $50 for it and it is amazing so I realized that you that good brushes are a thing but I still do buy very affordable brushes for instance this little and it needs to be washed desperately this little elf flawless concealer brush is absolutely amazing and I reach for it over my it one <laughs> and then I recently bought some like it eyeshadow brushes and I really love them so honestly now I do not mind to spend the money on good brushes I don't have to buy good brushes like I do have a lot of brushes that are from the drugstore and that kind of thing but I do know like for me if I buy brushes from it cosmetics they're gonna be good and it's gonna be a good investment so I that was something I never I was oh I just was like mm, I know I'm not gonna buy expensive brushes like for what it's not that important and everybody stressed how important it was and I agree now granted that doesn't mean there's not good brushes at the drugstore and I do still buy brushes from the drugstore but I'm not afraid to buy them high-end like I used to be so that is where my world has opened up so yeah in the world of high-end brushes I am definitely more willing now whereas before that was not an option so then some bonus items that I buy either affordable or high-end is I love high-end skincare now granted cleanser was always the thing that I thought I don't have to buy an expensive cleanser but there have been a couple that I've tried that I've really enjoyed and I've been really dissatisfied with some that I've bought at the drugstore lately 
So I might be changing on that as well, but I do love like Estee Lauder skincare. I like to know I'm getting a really good night cream. I like to know I'm getting a really good day cream. I wanna know that I'm getting a good serum, and then there was like a chemical peel mask from Estee Lauder that I just love. And this is not sponsored by Estee Lauder, I just love Estee Lauder. So I do tend to now, kind of in the last few years, I've kind of transitioned a lot of my skincare to higher end items. So that's been a change for me, whereas I used to just use stuff from the drugstore. So I do love high end skincare. But hair products kind of go half and half for me. I will usually have a couple different items in my shower, so I will usually have a high-end shampoo and a high-end conditioner or deep conditioner. And then I'll also have something from the drugstore, kind of in both categories, and I'll kind of switch them out. So that is kind of a half and half for me. And styling products, I tend to go with the drugstore on styling products most of the time. And then kind of hair treatments, like leave-in conditioners and hair oils. I do like a high-end product for that as well. Um, not to say I don't use stuff from the drugstore, I still have some stuff from the drugstore that I've been using for a while and like hairspray I will buy from the drugstore but I do like a treatment I do like to feel like I'm getting like the best thing for my money so I do tend to buy high-end there as well as well as eye creams I do like to use like high-end eye creams I just feel it's so imperative to the eye area. So yeah, that is definitely something I like to buy high-end as well. So anyways, what are some of your picks? What do you feel the need to buy high-end where you don't wanna compromise, gotta get my high-end, this, that, or the other? And then what are things you don't really care about how much you spend or where it comes from. Definitely comment down below and let me know. Also, if you enjoyed this video, show me you enjoyed it by giving it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell, that way you don't miss my next upload. I will have any videos that are kind of related to this video linked down below so you can give them a watch. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.